Russians hit Cheney Hive Music and Drama Theater with missile, killing seven civilians, including child, wounding 90. Here's a summary of the article. On the morning of the 19th of August, Russian troops hit the center of Cherny Hive, probably with a ballistic missile. Quote from Klemenko. It was a holiday morning on Saturday. People were leaving the church with baskets filled with consecrated apples. As of 1300, we had established that 42 people were affected as a result of the Russian attack on the Cherny Hive Music and Drama Theater. Five people were killed. 37 people were wounded, including 11 children. All of them are receiving medical assistance. Update. Ukraine's Interior Ministry later reported that seven people were killed and 90 injured. A fire broke out on the roof of a building. Rescue workers quickly extinguished the fire. 20 investigative teams of Cheney Hive Police and two forensic laboratories are working at the scene. The Square, the Polytechnic University and the Theater. Russia turned an ordinary Saturday into a day of pain and loss. There are people who have been killed and wounded. My condolences to those who have lost their relatives, Zelensky wrote on social media, commenting on the attack on the center of Cherny Hive. Russian forces reportedly launched a missile attack on the Cherny Hive Music and Drama Theater when a gathering of drone manufacturers and aerial reconnaissance training schools was held there as part of the Lyuti Tashki Demo Day, although only the event's participants knew the exact location. The Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported a missile threat to Cherny Hive, Poltava and Sumy oblasts, and later also the threat of Russian attack drones in Cherny Hive oblast. This post received a score of 14,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Russia is a terrorist state. Fuck Russia and fuck everyone who supports them. Supporters like several GOP presidential primary hopefuls? Yeah, I agree. This country needs to figure its shit out. When did conservative mean DeSantis or Trump what the actual fuck? Sadly, Putin was successful in damaging our country. Men in rural areas, with low education and a high risk for social issues, unemployment, addiction, violence and more, have a thirst for authoritarian men as leaders. It makes them feel safe and seen, in a world that's running past them. Putin, Trump, Bolsonaro and more all fit into it. About par for the course. I'm sure Putin is happy. He loves killing Ukrainians. He loves killing Ukrainian children. Fixed it for you. He likes to abduct them and brainwash them first, but kill them if that's not possible. War crimes. Why is this war still happening? Because, Putin. The man with the oversized ego and undersized manhood. Unfortunately, it's not just Putin. He's a product of Russian society like Hitler was in Germany. Most Russians support him. Only because the Russians smart enough to not support him have all left the country by now. Or are imprisoned. Or drank tea. Or fell out of a window. And just yesterday Pete's Coffee reaffirmed their commitment to remaining in the, the Russian market. Oh wow I didn't realize that. Only tried their stuff a few times. I'm genuinely now never buying their products ever again. Be sure to let them know. Russia is a terrorist state. It can be easy to get numb from headlines over time. But, Russia is consciously targeting civilian centers with ballistic missiles, to kill innocent civilians. It's gut-wrenching to fully comprehend. It's even more gut-wrenching to realize many folks even in the U.S. don't give much, if any, careful thought to it in this media cycle. Russia is a terrorist state fueled by their own blasphemy. I don't know if it is true, but a Ukrainian telegram channel said there was a Ukrainian drone exhibition in the theater, and its location got leaked online. Ugh, as Ukrainian it makes me piss beyond belief. Stupid military chose to host such exhibition in a city and not away from it, in a public and busy place, knowing full well that it could be hit by enemy rocket. Damn fools. They should never hold anything military related in a city and be in a bunker far away so no chance of civilian deaths. It's not like the subject of the exhibit would make much of a difference. There was that noteworthy strike on a cafe a few weeks ago that was basically because it was known to be popular, and had some moderately well-known Colombian writer there. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.